So, we're told, gorillas are found uh, in Africa and not in America because they evolved in Africa and not in America. According to Professor Richard Dawkins, the pattern of geographical distribution of plants and animals is just what you would expect if evolution had happened. If South America and Africa had really been joined for millions of years, we would expect to find exactly the opposite. We would expect there to be more seed plants common to South America and Africa than to South America and Asia. Some biogeographers have found this kind of data so puzzling that they have argued against the geologist's model of a supercontinent Pangaea, where South America and Africa were joined, and have proposed a different arrangement. They've suggested instead that there was a supercontinent they call Pacifica, where South America and Asia were joined. The flood we read about in the book of Genesis would have resulted in billions of trees being left floating on the surface of the oceans. And these log mats would have been like enormous floating islands. And regularly watered by rainfall, they could have easily transported plants and small animals great distances. So the areas where we find lots of different plant species uh, concentrated together tend to be the same as the areas where we find lots of different animal species concentrated together. This is strong evidence supporting the rafting hypothesis that transport across oceans explains much of the biogeography of the world. I believe that many plants and small animals were transported on great log mats left over from the Genesis flood. So it's not difficult to imagine how animals could have migrated from Ararat to various places throughout the world.